All right, so to complete this particular diagram, we just need to change this um, second process box to say charge code 35. So I'm going to click it, press the key F2, press the right arrow, and backspace 13, and put 35, and press Escape. Now I want to create another diagram and ask you to create another diagram based on what we've learnt so far. So I'd like to first of all add or insert a new page, page 2. I'd like to double click page 2 and call it emergency. I'd then like to add a text box at the top. So let's go to our home tab and let's go to our tools. I'm then going to click the button or the tool text. I'll click at the top and I'll type emergency admission slash discharge and I'll press escape. I'll then stretch it so it's the full length of the page and I'm happy with landscape A4 and I'll actually grow the font size to maybe 18 and change the font to Arial and resize it and there's my text box done. So now I need to go back to my pointer tool. I now need to add some shapes. I'm going to drag a decision and drop it about so. I'm going to stretch it and I'm going to type Discharge date after 1 August 2010, question mark. I'll then press escape and I want to change the font to Arial. And I want to change the size to about 10. I also want to create another shape. So it's a process shape and I'm going to drag process onto my page until it's vertically through the middle um, got this alignment line showing so I know it's in place and then I'm going to stretch it and just move it again and make sure I'm in place and type charge code 13 and escape now I want this format which is this font and this font size applied to this shape so I click on this shape I go up to my home tab in the ribbon and under cut and copy is the format painter. I'll click the format painter and then I'll click on this shape. So I've applied that format to that shape. I now want to duplicate this shape so I'm going to go control D and I'm going to put the duplicate on this side and make sure that I'm equally distributed as these two green arrows are showing and then I'm vertically through the middle. I'm looking for that so I'm lined up properly. I'll press F2 Press the right arrow, backspace twice, and put 35, and escape. Now I want to add two more process shapes. So I'm going to duplicate this process shape I have here. Control D twice, once, tw twice. And I'll move this one over to here, making sure it's lined up vertically and horizontally there. This one is to say discharge from emergency. F2 discharged from emergency. I'll press Control A, Control C to copy, click on this shape, press F2 and Control V to paste. You can use the copy and paste up here in the ribbon but Control C is copy and Control V is paste and that's a nice quick way to get the text across. I'm now going to duplicate this shape, Control D, and I'm going to move it down here, making sure it's sort of lined up through the middle. And I'm going to go F2 and type discharge codes. Press enter a couple of times and we've got DA, DC, DD and DF. I'll then resize the shape so it's slightly taller and then I'll control D and duplicate it and put it over here. I then press F2 and change each of these D's to an E. Shapes and text done. Now I need to do my connectors. So I'll click my connector tool. I'll drag from this connection point to this connection point. I'll drag from this connection point to this connection point. I'll drag from here to here. And if your lines aren't straight, don't worry. As long as you're gluing, from connection point to connection point. If your line's not straight, it just means that your shapes aren't lined up. 
So it's not the line you want to attack, it's the shapes you want to attack, which you'll do once you've got your connectors in place. So add your connectors and then go back to your pointer tool. If your lines are not in straight, such as this or, or what have you, just use your arrow keys to move your shapes or your mouse and get your shapes lined up so that your lines are straight. So your lines are indicative of your shapes. Now we've got some text we want to add to these, shape, to these connectors as well. So I'm going to hit this line, click this line, and then I'm going to click text. So you click the line, click the text tool, and you type no. Click this line, and you type yes. Click this line, and type yes. And scroll over, and click this line, and type yes. And then go back to your pointer tool. So that's how you add text to a line. Simply click the line, and then simply hit the click text tool. Now when you add text to a connector line, you end up with a little yellow circle or a yellow um, handle. The yellow is the position of the text on that line. So if you want to move that text, let me just move these two shapes. Click that one, hold the shift key, click that one, move these two shapes down. Now let's say I wanted to move the yes up, then you would move the yellow up. And you have to do it very straight. So sometimes it pays to zoom in. So you move it up by moving, so you move the text up or down or left or right by moving the yellow placeholder up, down, left or right. But you have to do it very carefully and remember you've got undo if it doesn't work properly. Um, so if I go back to the earlier diagram, admission, I should have had a no on here and a yes on here. So I'll click this line, click the text, it puts it in what's technically the right place and I'll put no and click this line and put yes and back to my pointer tool and so that's the text added to those connectors